Hi guys, today we're going to play a game called Hearts of Iron 4. More specifically, we're going to play Albania. My goal as Albania is to take out Italy to basically do Mune or Reverse card them. So, regular difficulty, historical focus is on and Iron Man off. Let's play as Albania. Start. As Albania, we start with one division, which is the division I'm going to exercise, and let's pick political effort as the first focus. I'm also going to research base machine tools and into war fighters. As for building, I guess I'm going to build one military factory in Albania. Political effort is finished. Let's go for a collective status now. By the way, I've got enough political power, so let's hire Ahmed Hoja, fascist demagogue. I just finished collective status, so let's do naval effort. I need convoys. And base machine tools are researched. Let's go for dispersed industry 1. And we have 10% fascist support, let's prepare for civil war and let's expand civil support. I'm gonna lose my stability. Ruining national stability for political gains. Trolling 101. Interwar fighter is researched and let's research CAS 1. And we are at 47% stability, which means I can ignite civil war. So let's delete my entire army and let's ignite civil war. I'm going to train about 10 of my, as, my, as many as I can actually, and let's request at least from Italy. They are going to help me out, most likely. Yes. Why are they helping me out? Well, because I'm fighting a country they have something hostile against, and that's this Albania. What do they have hostile against them? Well, they have a claim here, as you can see. They have claim on my territory as well, but we don't talk about that, right? No effort is finished, and let's do nationalism focus now. I'm gonna need manpower, so let's do nationalism and then militarism. Also, I could import some steel, let's import it from France. As I already said, I'm gonna need lots of convoys. In the meantime, I'm gonna do war propaganda against Albania, so that I can have more war support and uh, mobilization is going to be faster. I have to keep asking Italy for guns, and let's deploy the first division. I'm going to exercise it. I'm not going to take out the Albania for now. Nationalism focus is finished, let's go for militarism now. Italy, more guns please. Dispersed Industry 1 is researched, and let's go for Dispersed Industry 2. Militarism is finished, let's join the anti commenter pact, and let's do military youth. And let's start justifying against Yugoslavia. You might think this is too early, but trust me, it's not. We might have one division, but trust me, we don't have one division, we have way more than one division. You'll see what I mean by that. Cass is researched. Let's research improve machine tools and let's start production of gas. One factory and let's go. Let's import rubber from France. Oh wait, I don't have factories. Yeah, 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 I forgot I'm Albania. I can't have S word in Albania. Let's steal more guns from Italy. Military youth is finished, let's go for paramilitarism now. And let's improve workers' conditions. My game was running painfully slow. I checked the task manager and it was obviously the Chrome eating all the CPU, as always. Ah yes, Google Chrome. Anyways, paramilitarism is finished. Let's go for ideological fanaticism. Let's hire tons of generals and hope that one of them is, yes, brilliant strategist and also engineer officer. Nice. And we also got the inflexible strategist, pretty nice. Improved machine tools are researched and so is dispersed industry too. Let's now research electronic mechanical engineering and construction one. And ideological fanaticism is finished. Now I'm gonna do industrial effort. Also, let's hire an uh, army grouping expert. I should have done this before because now I'm gonna have 35 army experience and I can do state service industry, which means 10% more PP gain. And justification for Yugoslavia is finished. Now I'm gonna do gaming. So let's create faction with Italy. I can do this because I finished ideological fanaticism. Let's call it trolling. Now I need to call them into my civil war, however, the world tension needs to be 50% in order to call anyone to civil war. I'm gonna raise that in a moment, let's just wait to get more PP. As you can see, Italy instantly wants to help, help me with the land lease, and Germany, would you help me too? Yes, thank you Germany. As you can see, they can take over the faction leadership. However, they need 180 days and they need to be in every single war that we are in. Let's research mechanical computing. Industrial effort is finished, now I'm gonna do some more trolling. So as you can see, world tension is only 20%, and I paused the game, let's justify against USA. Let's slow down the game, and let's call Italy, this is a very important step, I need to call them first. 
and the UK is not going to guarantee Yugoslavia in the first hour. However, in the second hour, they will. So as you can see, one hour has passed. Italy has just joined. They gave me uh, almost a stroke, but they did join. And now all I gotta do is cancel justification against USA and now I'm safe. 21% more tension, which means Britain can't guarantee Yugoslavia for now. So what well, all I gotta do is make sure that this war doesn't end. And now since I'm the leader, and since we're fighting the same wars, I can request forces from Italy. And I will. As you can see, they just handed me over their entire army. I take their entire army and put them in my Yugoslavian border. In the meantime, I'm going to do technology sharing focus, which means I'm gonna get that third research slot. This is why I needed convoys so I can transport these Italian troops. Now pay close attention to this uh, situation. I'm going to declare war on Yugoslavia. Now I'm at war with both Yugoslavia and Romania. I didn't call in Italy, and as you can see, Italy is not war with them. But I still have Italian troops. And guess what? Yes, Italian troops are fighting against Yugoslavia, even though the Yugoslavia is not at war with Italy. So I'm basically fighting my own wars with the Italian troops. All I have to do is to make sure I don't take out the other Albania and Italian troops remain loyal to me. So let's encircle these two divisions right here. Italy will keep uh, training more and more divisions and I'll have to keep asking them for more and more divisions. As you can see they're just going to hand them over. Anyway, now it's time to completely troll Italy off the map. So what I'm gonna do now is request every single of their divisions. I basically put them into Albania. I'm gonna take a small amount of their divisions and put them right here. My goal is to completely ruin it, though, so let's call them to arms. They're going to say no initially because they have dangerous borders. But that's alright, once again I'm going to take these 19 divisions and I'm going to put them on the border right here. Let's try to make encirclements here in Yugoslavia. Oh, and Italy wants to join the war. Well, I'm going to actually call them in. However, first I want to make sure that their borders are unsafe. So let's move all of these 19 divisions down to Sicily. And now I'm going to accept their invite. Now they're at war both with Romania and with Yugoslavia. And just like that they're going to lose territory to Yugoslavian army. Only issue here are the German volunteers which are going to be pain. Technology sharing is finished which means now I got finally three resource slots. So let's go construction effort right now. Italy claims Yugoslavian territory is alright, who cares. Oh, wait till you train some more divisions, how about you give them to me? You're still giving them to me. Nice job. Nice job, you fool. Now let's research radio. Also, I could do war propaganda against Yugoslavia. Yeah, let's do that. Now let's get this person to free. And as you can see, due to the Italian claims, they actually now will control Dalmatia. Let's kick Italy out of faction and just invite them back. They will accept. Where their troops will go back to them and I don't want that to happen so let's ask them again and once again they're just gonna give them all back. Now let's just take out and just like that Italy is dealt with. Italy did take most of its land but you can't blame them. As you can see Romania is going to capitulate land and since they're also going to reach me eventually I should take a little bit of these Italian troops let's put like 19 of them and let's make them guard my land. They should guard land like this. This should be safe enough. Once again, German volunteers are being pain. However, now the front line is way bigger and they're most likely gonna get encircled eventually. And as you can see, the German divisions are being destroyed, which is nice. All you gotta do is wait and wait and wait and wait till the end of time, pretty much. Yeah, let's stop the cast support since I don't want to help out the German troops. I want these Germans to be encircled right here. Oh, and they did it. They encircled those ger German divisions. Beautiful. Anyways, Italians have trained another two divisions, so let's ask for them. Let's move them here. Construction effort 2 is researched, now let's go for infrastructure effort. Also, I'm gonna hire popular figurehead. And Romania has occupied almost the entire Yugoslavia, which is nice. Germany wants the semi volunteers. No. No, thank you. And Romania has reached Italian territories now. We shall not sign their Faustian bargain. Mechanical computing is researched. Let's go for computing machine. Here we are holding pretty well. Romanians have taken Venice. Radio is researched. Let's research support weapons one. Italians are training some more divisions. Let's steal them. And Romanians have taken most of the northern Italy now. And Italy wants to call back the troops. However, I think it's going to be too late because 
Romania has already taken Ancona and they're pretty close to Rome. Now they won't let me call more troops, but that's unfortunate, they have only one more division fighting right here. We just got encircled and will be destroyed soon. And Romanians have just taken Naples, all they need now is Taranto and a couple more victory points. I'm just gonna rearrange this front line right here, we should be able to hold against them. Although I should take this airport right here. Infrastructure effort is finished, so let's go for infrastructure effort 2 actually. Why am I able to do it? Yeah, let's do construction for free. Toronto is found, and as you can see, Italy has just capitulated. GG. Now, if I would kick out Italy, Romania would annex them. But Romania is still a pretty big threat, and I can't win, uh, defeat them because they have like 30 divisions, even more. I'm gonna try my best to cut off their connection with Romania. Also, I'm not going to take back any single victory point in Italy because then when I kick them out, they won't be annexed in the peace deal, which is what I want to happen. Now let's keep some 15 divisions here where all the other divisions will join these guys and will be shipped off to Albania. I've taken Belgrade. I did it. I managed to create a corridor with Hungary, which means that most of the Romanian army is now stuck west of here and they won't be able to protect Romania. Many of them are stuck in the southern Serbian Macedonia, so I'll try to cut off the southern Serbian Macedonia from Romania. Also, it's enter Romania. Anyway, this person should freeze research, let's go for construction too. Now what I need is a bunch of my own divisions. Issue is, I don't have manpower really, I have only 18,000 manpower in these four divisions. So I'm going to create very small template divisions. Let's make them one cavalry, one battalion cavalry, I can train 18 of them, not much, but still better than nothing. Yeah, let's get limited conscription. As you can see, they, they are training their new divisions and they're already in Romania. Let's go for a local police force. Construction effort 3 is research, let's do infrastructure effort 2 now. And I'm just gonna destroy another 4 divisions in Kosovo. How many divisions does Romania have? Still, a pretty powerful army of about 30 divisions. I'm gonna manage these divisions a little bit. 17 of them and put them in a front line right here. That's the wrong front line, I mean, I meant... Oh my god, I meant here. Maldives 48 will go right here, into Romania. Also, let's give them aerial support. One thing I'll need to do very carefully here in Romania is uh, to use my own divisions. I'll have to place my own divisions next to Romanian victory points. This is very complicated, keep that in mind. So, these are my divisions, let's give them a general. Now the trolling begins. I need to circle Romanian divisions. My goal is to, call, is to bring Romania very close to capitulation, but not to capitulate them actually. I also to destroy as many of their divisions as I possibly can. Maybe I'm gonna research up this one. And that's two divisions annihilated. Let's try to circle all these divisions down here. Meanwhile, you guys hold them. Spawn circlement right here, and this is going to be a big one right here. And all the hope is lost. How many divisions Romania? Still 18 divisions. That's still a lot of divisions. Right, let's destroy some more of their divisions. Now I'm going to destroy their divisions in Yugoslavia. So let's move the planes to Belgrade. This is pretty nice encirclement right here. Infrastructure effort 2 is researched. And let's get the extra research salt. And this is another nice encirclement. Sadly, they're in the mountains, so they'll be fighting for quite some time. And they just got annihilated. There's also one more division here waiting to be annihilated too, and I'm gonna destroy it as well. And they are wrecked. How many divisions do I have left? Romania has about about 14 more divisions. I shall to encircle some more of their divisions here. I'll try my best not to take Bucharest, and let's get the last machine tools. And this is another three divisions right here, and another one division here, and another two here, that's six divisions. And that's another six divisions. Now, as I already said, I'm going to take out every single Romanian province except for the Bucharest itself. And this will be another two divisions encircled here. Oh yeah, extra resource slot. Now I've got four resource slots. Let's get secret weapons. Or let's take out this division here. Let's get some secure firepower and I'm going to research something. Construction free perhaps and um, maybe artillery finally. And after refresh equipment one, let's get improved refresh equipment one. I make sure I don't take their capital. Let's try front line here. Go, go, go. 
and that division is taken out. Now we just have to take out Moldova and Bessarabia, and there is no more Romania. Oh, look, a division in Bucharest. Pretty damn nice. It's destroyed, but make sure not to take out Bucharest. And that's it. I'm fully occupying now Romania, except for their capital. Destroy every division that they create in Bucharest. Now my division step in to take these four. They're going to go around, around Bucharest like this. As for the remaining ones, I'll have to manually put them in places. One goes to Chloe, these two will go to Arad, we go to Timishwara, you two go here, you two go here, you go here, you will go there, and the last division can go to Brasho right here. I set up my army pretty much. Alright, my divisions are on the way and let's just wait for them to arrive. And let's also wait for them to reorg. I have reorg pretty much and now I can do the troll. Sorry Tilly, you were a very good friend. Let's get them out of faction. Let's make sure that my army is going nowhere. They did leave the provinces, but as you can see we occupy most of the Romanian core territories. Romania took most of Italy out. For some reason they puppeted Italy right here. Why? God knows why. Let's take out all the minor victory points, which don't have names. Also for this victory point right here. I tried to take planes because the troops were the fastest in planes. Let's take Raiova, let's hope this is enough. How are they doing? 22%. Just one more named victory point and they should be done. And is this enough? Yes it is. Italy is not attached though, sadly, but I think I should be able to satellite them. Yes, I'm able to satellite the Kingdom of Italy, and there you go, my Italian puppet. Now let's give them back their own land. And you know what, let's make them kind of thick. Let's give them Istria, yeah, Dalmatia and Zara. The rest is going to me. And look at this beauty. 939 March, Greater Albania with Italian puppet. Could this be any better? Yes, it could if I had Hungary, for example, and Bulgaria as well, but I did don't, so... Yeah, and guess what? All this time, I'm in the Civil War. I'm still in the Civil War with Zog. I wish Zog would create one division, then I would just sacrifice myself. But let's take them out. Together we'll work for a better future. Indeed we will. Yeah, this is how you <laughs> take out Italy as Albania. I really wish we had Zog here and not this John Burbank guy. But still, it's still Albania. And yes, this is how we play Albania. Very exploitative, very weird gameplay, but still gameplay nonetheless. But thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then like, share, and subscribe and all that. You know the drill. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.